Rose Fortune was born on March 13, 1774, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to enslaved parents and later uprooted to Virginia during the American Revolution. They immigrated as Black Loyalists to Canada when Rose was only 10 years of age and settled in Annapolis Royal, Nova Scotia. Although in Canada they were no longer enslaved, earning a living was difficult. Over time, Rose developed two area businesses and became quite a successful entrepreneur. She started a transport business with her wheelbarrow, transporting provisions and luggage from ships to hotels and businesses. Later, she implemented an innovative wake-up call type service to alert people at nearby inns in danger of missing departing ships. She also was well known for helping to keep the peace and imposing and enforcing curfews at the wharves in the surrounding area. Many consider Rose Fortune to be the first policewoman in Canada. Her baggage company became known as Lewis Transfer in 1841, and horse-drawn wagons and later a pickup truck replaced the wheelbarrows. Rose's grandchildren carried on the family business for the next 100 years. She died on February 20, 1864, only three years before Confederation when Canada officially became a country, and was buried in an unmarked grave at the Garrison Graveyard at Fort Anne in Annapolis Royal, Nova Scotia's oldest English graveyard. Rose Fortune's legacy continues today. The Association of Black Law Enforcers have created a scholarship in her name, and one of her descendants, Doreen Lewis, was elected mayor of Annapolis Royal in 1984, thus becoming the first black female mayor in Canada. Doreen portrays her ancestor Rose in the Ghosts of the Sinclair exhibit operated by the Annapolis Heritage Society. The heartwarming story of Rose Fortune has been told nightly since 1992 on Alan Melanson's world-renowned Candlelight Graveyard Tours, sponsored by the Historical Association of Annapolis Royal. One evening, a New York playwright, George Cameron Grant, took Alan's graveyard tour and was inspired by Rose's story. He later wrote the award-winning play, Fortune. Bay Ferries named their new ferry the Fundy Rose after Rose Fortune. It operates daily from St. John, New Brunswick to Digby, Nova Scotia, which is located only 30 minutes from Annapolis Royal. The Historical Association of Annapolis Royal launched campaigns to have her photo on Canadian currency and a postage stamp, and also nominated Rose to the Historic Sites and Monuments Board of Canada to be considered for status and recognition as a nationally significant historic figure. Members of the community raised and donated $1,900, and the Candlelight Graveyard Tour contributed an additional $3,500 to install a monument in the Garrison Graveyard to properly honor Rose Fortune. Made out of metal and Wallace Quarry Sandstone from Cumberland County, Nova Scotia, it is in the shape of a stylized wheelbarrow bench. It is designed and constructed by local blacksmith Brad Hall for unveiling and dedication by the Historical Association of Annapolis Royal and the community at 10.30 a.m. on Canada Day, July 1, 2017, as a special Canada 150 event to commemorate the 150th birthday of the country and to honor one of the most inspirational and beloved figures in Canada, Rose Fortune.